everyone, and welcome to our next episode of A and B Horror Movies. My name is Aaron. Hi, I'm Ben. And today we're going to be doing an episode specifically focused on unboxing some of our new arrivals. So we're going to open up some packages that we've gotten in the mail that we haven't yet, um, and we'll share with everyone what movies we've uh, gotten recently. Um, but before we do that, as always, we're going to talk about the beer we're drinking. So Ben, I'll turn it over to you. Yep, I am drinking a wild beer co. Uh, it's a Pogo fruit ale. Quite a cool. Oh, nice. Right. Yeah, man, I love that artwork. It's like, um, God, it makes me think of the latest wrong turn. Um, yeah, yeah. That's and of course, yeah, stag, so, yeah. And antlers, right? Yeah. Super cool. How is it? It's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice, actually. Um, definitely buy it again. Oh. It's not overly powerful with the fruit, but yes, yeah, it's, it's not enough. How strong? How strong is it? Oh, uh, where are we? 4.1. Oh, you're safe. Playing it safe. Yeah, safe, safe zone. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> well, let's see. I've got um, a Hermit Thrush Sunset Lake um, with cherry and juniper. Uh, it's a wild, oh, nice. gosh, wild sour hard seltzer. Um, and you can see there it's brewed in Vermont, I believe, um, Brattleboro, Vermont. That's a cool can as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, pretty cool can. Um, I probably should have saved this for like a Friday the 13th episode, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. And, again? Um, what's that? Oh, sorry. Yeah, go on. Sorry. You're... I actually haven't tried it yet, but I'm using my uh, pinhead mug this time around. Cheers. Oh, that's quite good. I'd get it again. Let me see what the alcohol is on this. It is 4.5. So I'm also playing it oh, safe. Winner. <laughs> it's going to be a tame episode. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So like I said, we're going to do some unboxing this time. Um, why don't I go first? Cool. Yep. Yep. I'm going to go through and remove my address so no personal information is given away here. This is a movie, um, as you can see, I got from Amazon. Big packaging, and it is angst. You see that? Very cool. It came oh. with a slip cover. I didn't expect that. Pretty nice addition. So, I've actually seen never seen this. Have you seen it? No, not really. Yeah, it's cool. So it's an Austrian film. Um, I know it's about a serial killer. In fact, a friend of mine, I was talking with him recently about it. He said it. it's sort of like... Um, Portrait of a Serial Killer, you know, the movie Henry. Oh, Henry, yeah. yeah that's but, a, but an Austrian yeah. version. Um, All right. Is it new? So, Is it quite recent? Oh, no, I don't think it's new. Um, 83. It's an 80s film. Oh, wow. 83. Yeah, I was born. Awesome. So you must see it's it. It's got to be good. <laughs> it's got to be good. So, yeah, I've heard yeah. good things about it. In fact, someone had posted it recently um, on Instagram, and I thought, you know, I'm going to get a copy of this. I looked it up on Amazon. And it wasn't that much. And here it is. You know, maybe we should um, check it out and, and do a future episode on it. Yeah, definitely. If we like it, of course. Yeah. We're looking to that. Cool. So that's what I've got to Good start. Uh, right, my go. I've also blacked out everything. So uh, I can't be solid. Christmas morning, right? Yeah, exactly. And I've got in here. Uh, ah. I've got Intruder. Oh, I love that movie. Really oh, cool your edition film. is different than mine. If yeah. I had known, man, I would have brought mine out. Yeah, that's cool. And it's got a Probably red case. Probably has got um, the swap. It's the 88 films, and they sometimes have the flip. Yeah, that's um, definitely different. Artwork, but obviously I've not opened it at the minute, so maybe post it. Or... Now, you've seen this before, right? Yeah. You see, yeah, it's great. It's really classic. good film. Mm -hmm. um, Makes you want to work in a grocery store, right? Yeah. And I loved all the angles, like the camera angles, and like the telephone and stuff is really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like up through the phone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like through the, because it's 80s, right? Through like the, yeah. um, the old rotary phones. Yep. Uh, yeah. Proper 80s as well. Cool. Really we'll good. definitely have to do an episode on that one. I love that movie. Definitely. Back to you, man. All right. Awesome. Um, so I actually got a box here. So this is a... Uh, an eBay lot of movies that I ordered. 
So I do know there are seven movies in here, so I'm not going to go through all of them at once. I'll just pick out a couple. Uh, again, I took my address off, as you can see. This has been sitting on my uh, dining room floor for a few days now in anticipation of this. So I'm quite excited to open it. And it looks like someone did some serious uh, Oh <laughs> it's it's always nice when they take the time to uh, pack it properly. Newspapers. Yes, no, I can see they're in great shape. Oh, awesome. Um, so here we go. Belzebuth. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, it's a Shudder original. I've actually watched this recently on Shudder. I must say the movies that they they produce and put out are, are just fantastic. Yeah, um, some really cool ones on that, actually. Some really good ones. Oh yeah, I love it. It's probably my favorite streaming service. Yeah. I'm not sure if you saw this one. Um, it's kind of, kind of has seven vibes, um, like the old movie Seven. Uh, it's got Tobin Bell in it. He's sort of like this. Uh, uh, I think he was a, a priest, and now he sort of has visions. Um, but it's quite good. It's on Shutter. Uh, check it out if you can. I loved it, um, and now I own it. So here it is. Oh. Nice one. Maybe one more, or do you want to go with your box next? No, no, no. You um you've got seven. If you go again and then I'll open um okay, oh, cool. Yeah. Let's go. cool. Um let's see. Another shutter original. I probably should have said that all seven movies are shutter um original movies. Um excuse me, this one I have not seen. It's called Room. Uh I don't know a whole lot about it. I'm looking forward to check it out. I mean, like I said, their their films are quite amazing. So We'll see if it's good. That rings a bell. I'm not too sure for but the cover looks pretty um, familiar. Let's see. Came out in 2018. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I'm looking yeah. forward to checking it out. Always nice right. to have a film you have seen. Right. Yep, you're up, man. So you don't have a knife to cut through it? Oh, it looks like you just rip it open. Simple, mate, and then simple minded. <laughs> so, take the first one out. We've got Sleepaway Camp 3. Oh, nice. Which Very cool, seen. man. I'm loving the red cases. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? Um, mm -hmm. That's the 88 films. Um, and it's funny, actually, you've done the, the Shudder. I think maybe nearly all of these are 88. Um, so, there's a theme. We each have a theme. Going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I've not seen this one. So looking forward to. I'm not uh, sure if I that. have either. I have the box set with. I mean, definitely one, two, and three. And isn't there a maybe a fourth one that they didn't finish? Yeah, I'm, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I know the second one is more of a comedy. Um, yeah, it was a bit more light-hearted, wasn't that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. But, um, always, always nice to watch a film you haven't seen. So. Yeah, you'll have to let me know if it's good. Yeah, definitely, man. Uh, so. Yeah, back to you. All right, awesome. Um, again, like I said, a Shutter exclusive. Tigers are not afraid. I have seen this one. Um, it's quite good. It's a bit dark. It's kind of like a, a, I don't know. I guess I would say a dark fairy tale with some difficult subject matter. Um, but it's very good. It's handled very well. It's executed quite well. Um, I really like this one, and I'm I'm happy to have a copy of it. Yeah, I'm. Um pretty sure i've seen that one it's was that three it's four years subtitled old? yeah it's about yeah it's a few years old i think it's in spanish uh yeah um yes it looks like it's in spanish it's good yeah i, I like it if you haven't seen it check it out movies. yeah yeah so, cool oh. uh, the cover's pretty pretty cool isn't it yes oh yeah it's nice to have a slip cover and these are all brand new i, I should have mentioned um which is another reason why I was interested in this eBay lot. Nice, what you want? They're, they're all DVDs. I would prefer Blu-rays, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with DVDs, man. I was just going to add, I actually will definitely buy this again. It's really nice. You're probably watching me swig that down. <laughs> Cheers, dude. <laughs> uh, we've got next one is, ah, actually an Arrow edition. Oh, and sweet. it is... The Prey. Nice. I love their editions. Which I don't think I've seen that one. No, I uh, haven't seen this one neither. Um, cool. 
so yeah, again, excited to watch something that I haven't seen. Always. You'll have to let me know if it's good. Yeah. I wish I actually I've takes time opening them all, but um maybe we're share if you've got any uh flip covers and stuff, we're sharing them on. Oh yeah. No, that's a good the, idea. Uh, OG page. So perfect. Um okay. Prevenge. I actually just watched this one recently um, on the app itself. It's quite an interesting sort of comedic take on a, a serial killer, if that's a good way to describe it. Um, so the woman, the, the lead here is pregnant and the baby um, speaks to her and tells her to kill people. And that's exactly oh, what she does. <laughs> I've, uh, I've seen that actually, and I've, I've sort of you've seen the movie now. Yeah, you sold it to me, so I'm not going to watch that. It sounds pretty. pretty there's, fun, some, there's some good cameos in it as well. Yeah. Um, there's an actress from Game of Thrones that shows up as like a trainer. Um, All right. So it's kind of light in a way. I mean, it's it's comedic, but it's also dark at the same time. Um, our protagonist is definitely having some mental issues and. She deals with them in a very interesting way. So yeah, I would check it out. It's a, it's a good watch. That's nice. another one for me to, uh, cool. to go and watch. Yeah, if you see um, it, let me know. Yeah, definitely. Um, next one is Driving Massacre, which is also another film I haven't seen. <laughs> I haven't seen it <laughs> but, either, but I, I, I need to, can't go wrong I need with to that. catch up so bad. There, there's mm. people probably going, oh, I can't believe you haven't seen it. But yeah, um, I haven't. I've heard a lot about it. So love the cover. Yeah. Yep. Finally got it. And those watching, if you have seen it, perhaps add a comment on uh, yeah, what definitely. you thought and let us know if we should check it out. I don't own it and I've never seen it. Yeah. So yeah, and another 88 uh films edition. So look at I'm looking like the um the smaller case. Yeah, yeah, it does look smaller. A bit more tidy, a bit more cool. A bit more cool. So yeah. Well, the more we do of these, it'll be interesting. I know we've talked about this before to see the different editions that you have there versus what we get here in the States. Yeah. Yeah, we were saying with uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and uh, stuff the like that. The Steelbook, right? Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's quite cool, actually, the different artwork. So. Take them out of the box. I've got three more. How many do you have? I've got one more. So do you want to go? I could do two. Uh, two um, now. In fact, the next three that I have, I haven't seen. The Night Shifter? Looks interesting. Uh, it says crimson coated nerve jangling scares according to Daily Dead. So must be good. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll have to check this out. Again, if you've seen it, add some comments and let us know what you think. And then I've got one cut of the dead. Matches my shirt. That must be, is that, is that another? Um... Sort of comedy, black, sort of dark. It, it says it's an absolute blast. One of the most entertaining zombie films ever made. A marvelous, marvelously good time. Can't go wrong with that it. cover, right? Have you seen yeah. it? I guess not. <laughs> no, I've not. There's so many films I've got to watch. And I've sort of I've seen, I've actually seen that again, advertised. And mm -hmm. when I've got something in my head, what I want to watch, I'll, I'll go and find that and I sort of flip past everything else. But, um, yeah, you give me a few Ooh, more on the list. Yeah, there. let so me know if these are good. All right. All right, your last one. Uh, Drum roll. Your last one it is another eighty-eight films. Of course. <laughs> and awesome. it is a uh, an eighties. It's Scarecrows. Oh yeah. You know I don't own that one. Have you seen it before? I have. Yeah, I watched it not long ago um, on Prime, I believe. Cool. So it was, I think I saw it a uh, long time ago. It's been a while. Yeah, it's really cool. Scary, right? Um, yeah, it, it, it's got the proper 80s kind of um, mm -hmm. really good horror feel to it. And I, I do love all, obviously, the 80s horror was the best, wasn't it? So, of course, yes. A decade never to be repeated. Yeah, exactly. Like Although I feel like right now we're sort of in the, the prime of some new horror movies, especially, you know, thinking about Shudder and, and all of these new indie films that are coming out. Um, it's quite awesome. Um, I couldn't be happier. Yeah. Like, um, the thing I like with Shudder, actually, is they're not... You, you do get gore. You get blood mm -hmm. and gore in a lot of films. 
but it's only there when they think it's needed. With a lot of films that come out now, it's like pushed in your face at sort of maybe a point there where it's not needed. I don't know if that's just me. A lot of, a lot no, of people I think do that makes love, sense. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people do like the blood and gore, but sometimes I think there's a bit too much. Maybe it's kind of a shock factor where... Some of it, yes. I mean, I mean yeah, they do yeah. put out some some very gory films. I think there was one yeah. recently called Skull. Um, that definitely had a lot of gore in it. But then they do ones that are more subtle. Um, like uh, Caveat was awesome. One of my favorite films in the last mm. year or so. Yeah, it was a strange one, that. But um, mm -hmm. really uh, oh my God, I have haunting, haunting, wasn't it? Yeah, it was haunting. <laughs> Look at and, that. <laughs> it, it, it just kept you... Uh, yeah, brilliant. and that bunny, my God, was that not scary? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was a really good film. I think you recommended that to me actually. Um, and I yeah, love it. it. Was a really good film. I love it. Simple story, but so effective and yeah. quite scary. Edge of your seat all the way through, like yes. waiting. Give, give you that. Oh, is it? Is oh, it? completely. Yeah. yeah. We should yeah. do an episode dedicated just to that movie. I could talk about Definitely, it. Definitely. Yeah. Twenty minutes. Um, let me do the last one. I guess, Mon 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 Monsters. I've never oh, heard I'm of this. That. Let's see. Yeah. A ghoulastic good time and a real treat for gore hounds. Speaking of gore, I'll have to look at the back. It does look. I haven't seen it. Um, like I said, I've never yeah. heard of it. Uh, Shutter original. Yeah, I've got Shutter. I've not seen that on there. So. I, have to search. I wonder if it's uh, yeah let me see let me know if you find it mm, i'll do the same definitely. um 2017 it's any good yeah i cool. sure will okay uh i guess we'll wrap this one up with the what we're watching next i recently got uh a copy of the town that dreaded sundown the remake so this came out i think about five years ago i recently watched the original and so many folks recommended that i watch the remake or sort of a remake it's like a sequel i think i, I haven't seen it yet um but now i have it and i can't wait to check it out yeah. i'm not too what sure if... if i have i'm really not sure part of me now you've said it's like a sequel mm -hmm. is, is maybe yeah. it is a sequel because it says 65 years after so it's not a remake i was wrong it's a sequel yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking i've seen it but the original absolutely loved it so if that's anything to follow then oh yeah it's so good right definitely worth um the watch so cool. what are you uh, what are you planning to watch next? Um, well, as I've uh, watched some new films and I haven't seen it, I'm actually quite excited for um, mm -hmm. Driving Massacre. Oh, so this will be good. the next one I'm watching. <laughs> good choice. Sounds, you just sounds awesome, doesn't it? Driving it Massacre. <laughs> can't beat it. Yeah. Well, any movie with Massacre in the title can't be bad, yeah. right? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> all right awesome well that's the end of our episode uh, again add any comments uh if you'd like us to cover anything in future episodes let us know and we will do yeah. that hit the like and uh hit the like and subscribe that's the bear <laughs> <laughs> awesome all right thanks everyone talk soon